Wowie Zoe! Hey guys, it's me, Just Robo, and still going to actually be Super Mario Bros. Run the directed. How about I get straight for the French way? You. Anyways, there was a there was a there was a live I reaction have destiny. Don't have you. There was an um hmm. Anyways, there's some sort of well Anyways, there's some sort of there's there's a nice thing for this direct, but I actually listen because I probably have to catch up for a visit time. Here in the cake, which came out today. And this also was wrapped up on Tuesday, so this could be exciting. So, anyway, let's go. Sorry, Friday. Sorry, didn't make my reaction. Yeah. Dirty. Ooh, so trust me, we'll not be able to press the switch, but oh well, Mamma Mia, but. Exciting. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mis- Wait a minute. Oh, why? I guess you think for some reason, oddly enough, he's named after the Prince in Snow White. And just Serious uh, Wonder Flower. Hey, what the? Okay, well, why are you? Why are you even doing it? Oh, God, he, he's just gonna go. He's just gonna go. He's just gonna go. Oh, shit. Bowser. My Merge with Prince Florian's castle. Oh, <laughs> Thanks to his yeah. newfound power, yeah, chaos yeah. spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and so save the me. Flower Kingdom. Oh, oh she is back! I did not expect to see that. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder <laughs> Game. Oh, let's jump in. The Flower Kingdom. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that oh, circle the Petal Isles, Isles, making a total of seven areas to its oh, okay. floor. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some while in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and 
Onward and upward. Okay. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. Yeah, they might give I, you I, hints. I, I, I wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Oh, that. But. Whatever. Now here are the characters. And. Yeah. Oh! You got to waste it every time. And even now, it too! Holy crap, the this is real. Right, it's Mario. <laughs> you can also play <laughs> as. <laughs> Luigi! Was he. Was he boot confirmed? It's not confirmed. And after all. Peach! Daisy! One of two toads and Toadette. It's fucking good! They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. Oh boy. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit, so watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Okay. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. Power -ups. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, wow. If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you! That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, Peach, Daisy, and oh, Toadette shit. all have yeah, elephant yeah, yeah, forms yeah. as well. Peach, Daisy, and uh, Toadette all have oh, elephant forms as well. The bubble form allows you to blow light, floating oh, bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically in per You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them like platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. While in drill form, drill. you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. Oh, in a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. Hello. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra That's power up. Look how In a pinch, bust out a power up. Oh, great. Or swap them to better fit the situation. Oh dear. Wonderstar. Wonderflower. This is a wonder flower. A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious no. power and release no. it when in bloom. 
that's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. You can end up in a free fall tilt. You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Oh, crap. Mario might become a Goomba? Oh, shit, I got, looks like he did. Looks like Mario hasn't watched the Super Mario Bros. show. The Super Show. Because if you don't, then you're, get, you're obviously going to turn into Goomba. <laughs> or a spike ball. <laughs> or blow up like a balloon. When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. Wonderful. Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Okay. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the Wall Climb Jump Badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching High Jump Badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the Safety Bounce Badge. Easily find important items using the Sensor Badge. Draw in nearby Mula with the Coin Magnet Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. You will not stop dashing with the Jet Run Badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Play together. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course okay. as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, or if you're an elephant. Oh, I play! Just hope that there will be more back next week, however, since... Uh, <coughs> Super Mario Maker. <coughs> Super Mario Bros. Ultimate. Uh, and so... If you connect right. online, you might see other players on the oh, world yeah. map and in courses. 
These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in Mobile Phone, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts. Gifting items. How cool. Reaching the goal pole together and more will earn you heart points. Okay. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the oh, world, oh no! Don't tell me that. Whether that? you're casually connecting with players from around the world, or syncing up with friends oh, for riveting yeah, races, you can enhance your experience with online play. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and Friends when Super Mario Bros. Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. Oh, well, that was some um, wonderful direct. And this game would cut out to be wonderful too. But some. Um, finally, some interesting stuff. Oh, thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for watching. This, and this class will be released on the same day. I think I'll start Brawl and Super Mario. And Spider Man 2 could be. And some others will be released. So, this could be interesting. And I'm watching some of the videos. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for this game, which I am. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.